Last season, Leeds United got rid of their manager, Marcelo Bielsa, and they brought in Jesse Marsh. Now, the way that they explained that to everyone was that in Jesse Marsh and Marcelo Bielsa, you have two managers who are off the ball, are very intense, counter-pressing managers who are going to um, get the most out of a squad that is full of players who have athletic qualities. But actually, in the last 12 games of the season, it turns out that maybe Jesse Marsh wasn't the manager that you expected him to be. Because when you look at the way that these two managers are looking to create goals, there's stark differences between the two of them. And this led to problems in the last few games of the season for Leeds, which we're going to talk about today. So let's have a look at how Marcelo Bielsa tries to get his teams scoring goals. Now the big thing for Marcelo Bielsa is that he wants to possess the ball, he wants to keep the ball as long as possible, move the ball down the field and get the ball into dangerous scoring positions. So let's have a look at how that looks like on the field. So I've got a Marcelo Bielsa team here. You can see it's the, the standard 4-1-4-1 formation that he liked to use. Now, when you have players who are maybe a little bit less technically adept, when you're trying to possess the ball, what you're gonna try and do is create as much space as possible. So let's have a look at what that looks like in a build-up from the goalkeeper. So let's give the ball to Ilan Melier. Now, normally what you're gonna see here is you're gonna see Melier play it out to one of the centre-backs, um, and then you're gonna have the opportunity to either play it down to the full-back, play inside to the pivot player. We're gonna have the eights as well dropping in to help out in the, in the build-up. And the idea is to um, have as many available passing options so that you can retain the ball as long as possible and move it down the field. Let's say that the ball comes down into this wide area. Now what you're going to see in these sorts of situations is often with Marcelo Bielsa teams, you'll see this triangle forming uh, of the fullback, the wide player, and then one of the central midfielders, usually the ball near central midfielder. Uh, and again, the idea is that you're, what you're doing is you're generating an overload here. So these three players uh, are going to be able to play the ball between them, retain possession, and as a result, keep moving the ball down the field. And often these, these triangles will switch around. So you might see the midfielder dropping in. You might see an underlapping run from the, the fullback. Alternatively, the, the fullback might do an overlapping run as well. But the general idea is that we're trying to get the ball into this sort of area on one of the uh, wide players' feet. And from there, you can then start getting the, thinking about getting the ball into a dangerous goal scoring position. Leeds are gonna try and attack these spaces in between the opposition's back line. Junior Furpo has got the ball here. Uh, he is going to put the ball into the box on this dangerous angle. And what we're gonna see then is that you're creating an opportunity for lots of players at once to get towards the ball in the box in dangerous areas. So you can see Harrison, Bamford, Rafinha could all attack that ball. If Harrison misses it, then maybe Bamford gets the shot off. If Rafinha misses it, then um, you would hope that maybe the, the fullback down here is, is coming back across. So you're just generating a, a situation where you're getting as much opportunity to generate a dangerous um, shooting opportunity. So that's how Marcelo Bielsa is getting his teams to try and score goals. All about width, all about possession. Uh, and as we will see, that's very different from what Jesse Marsh is trying to do. When we're talking about Jesse Marsh, rather than creating goals through possession, he's actually much more interested in direct attacking through central spaces, and he doesn't really worry about possession too much at all. So let's have a look at the formation that we've got for Jesse Marsh. So this is the standard 4 triple 2 formation that a lot of counter-pressing managers use because it allows you to get all of your players in and around the ball in central spaces, and the centrality is the really important thing. The most important thing to notice then is the narrowness of this formation. So if I draw a line along here and along here, so pretty much penalty area width to penalty area width, you can see that everyone bar the two fullbacks is within that small space. And as I say, that just allows you to overload in central spaces, win the ball back if you lose it. And if you are attacking, then you've got plenty of players in the central spaces in front of goals. And so you can make those uh, more dangerous runs from that situation. So let's have a look at how that looks in terms of build up again. So ball back with Ilan Melier, not so much worrying about creating space like there was for Bielsa, everything centrally located, trying to get the ball quickly through the middle. So again, you will see the ball coming out to one of the two centre backs here. That's, that's the same. And you will see the ball maybe being played along the back line. But the general idea of this movement of the ball across the back line is to find a situation where you can then make an incisive pass through the middle to, uh, to one of these midfield players. So you may see Diego Llorente here look for a pass into the feet of Rafinha here. 
the general idea is to create these dangerous situations in the middle, get the ball through the middle, and from here you can, you can look to, to find your teammates and, and generate these attacking movements. Now, we talked before about how possession isn't necessarily the most important thing here. So let's imagine that Rafinha loses the ball here and it goes to one of these pivot players for the opposition. The idea of this centrality now is that all of these players are well structured to be able to do a really quick counter press to, to win the ball back. And so centrality is a really important idea here. So let's assume that the ball isn't lost. Uh, Rafinha keeps possession of the ball. Now he may do uh, what's called an up and through pass, so play it back to click. Uh, and then Click could maybe try and find Bamford through the lines here. Uh, the general idea is that you want to get all of your central attacking players through the middle on the line of the last man. This is the really important area. This area here between the two centre-backs for the opposition and the two central midfielders. And what Leeds are going to try and do under Jesse Marshall, they're going to try and get as many players in, in this sort of area, in this sort of space, win the ball back if the ball breaks down, play the ball through directly and, and generate attacking moments um, if they can. And then when you get the ball, you have these options, these passing options through the line. So Bamford here um, can, can run through. You could maybe play it through to, to Gelhart to go around the back. But the general idea is don't worry too much about possession. Attack directly. If you can generate goals in that way, that's great. If not, if you lose the ball, then you turn the ball over and uh, you then engage your counter press really quickly and you try and generate these more central attacking plays. Now the problems that Jesse Marsh has been experiencing since he came to Leeds is that because he wants all of his players playing in central compaction, wants central attacking, the problem is the squad that he has isn't really able to do that so well. And so you've got players like Rafinha, Jack Harrison, who are really almost touchline hugging wingers who want to be able to get isolated against fullbacks 1v1, uh, try and get around them, uh, and then play these dangerous crosses in uh, across the box. But the problem is, is that in this situation, let's say Rafinha tries to go around his fullback in this wide area and loses the ball and the fullback comes out with the ball. As we talked about it before, the Jesse Marsh system is designed to have these situations of counter pressing where players can immediately try and win the ball back. And if Rafinha loses the ball in that wide area, all of the counter pressing players are now too far away from the ball to be able to do a successful counter press. And so this is why Jesse Marsh is maybe not the manager that people think he is. They've, Leeds have brought him into their team um, with a squad that is adept at playing attacking possession football in wide spaces. Jesse Marsh wants to play compact, narrow, counter-pressing football, and those two things don't add up. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. The Athletic brings you the best sports journalism in the world in a personalised experience, connecting you with the stories and teams that you care about the most. There's coverage of 13 sports, plus direct access to world-class journalists through live Q&As, discussions and podcasts. Not to mention, it's all ad-free. And you can try it now for free for 30 days by clicking the link in the description.